And we're into match number two with Stars kicking this one off. Good luck to you, Stars. And we've got Super Miners. We. What's on the warden? Wait, what's on the warden? Okay, it's not the fireball. I'm gonna keep checking. I'm gonna keep checking over and over this whole match. Has anyone unlocked the fireball? And are they gonna use it? With five healers, Super Miners here as the blimp is gonna go for the town hall. It's gonna be a bowler bounce. We got bowlers skipping through the town hall and yes, taking out the monolith on the other side. Well done. The monolith goes down with the super bowlers. The queen is going to make her way to the left side of the space. Where does he want to get this queen? Will she move her way up and into this section towards the eagle artillery here? gonna take his time he's got four super wall breaks oh he breaks this first wall here to allow the queen to step into this ground expo but what's the plan for up here with super miners one pekka we have a diggy on the warden here the queen's taking her time he's gonna try to wall break again to get the queen really into the section he's got plenty of wall breakers to use here as he continues minute 56 seconds and stars is doing all these attacks himself every single one of them so it's a 1v 1v2 or i mean 4v4 i guess i don't know stars has four attacks simon has got two philip's got two it's the solo versus duo teams as the queen continues her charge in towards the ricochet cannon he's got a minute and a half left in this attack wizard up top we're seeing now the super miners come through the top side to help force the queen into the core because once this section goes down then a wall break can be deployed here and go for this wall you gotta wait for these buildings oh well actually there's an opening in the wall right there so he still can target the core into the multi a bunch of headhunters has come out of here gonna burn the, the warden eternal tome as the healers are getting hit by the multi target inferno now the king is gonna go into the ricochet can there is the wall break or that queen to continue her way in towards the eagle artillery as we have super miners looking to help take out this eagle the eagle has been taken out as he makes his way into the scatter shot the king's ability has gone off into the backside of this base pekka's coming into the compartment raging up this queen we have the frozen arrow on that queen as he continues through does not have ability but he's got two invis he still has a freeze and the super miners coming through that queen gets some fantastic value up through this base but the bowlers getting a brilliant bounce through the town hall taking out that monolith for a three star gg to start the next attack is in simon good luck as he is coming in with 24 valkyries we've got four earthquakes in a town hall that is surrounded by walls on the far left side as we're seeing the valks off to the right trying to take this workshop down and it does slowly but surely and there is an overgrowth right on the outside and the log launcher is gonna come down okay an overgrowth right off the bat for a log launcher into this compartment it is opening up the walls so is it Oh, it kind of got stuck here. It's getting stuck. What's happening? Why is it stuck? Bro, it's stuck. It's glitched. What? It's stuck. Oh my goodness, it's stuck. It couldn't get through the elixir collector. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Simon. Well, I guess we just found a bug. It's glitched. Oh no. He's going to pop the warden ability. He's hanging on. Belk's going right through the core. But the elixir collector stopping it from moving uh, because of the overgrowth spell. That was interesting. As we now have the royal champion coming to the right side. Going to move to the wizard tower. And that queen is charging her way up from the top side. We have that king ability to use towards this monolith. You're going to use it. Absolutely crush through it. No worries right there. As now the royal champ with her ability... He didn't have that fireball, had the healing uh, tome as the Lava Hound is going to run off to the Royal Champion where the Lava Hound is following the Valkyries as he continues this queen to charge her way to the top side with the Valks to the left, Tesla over there. The Hound does pop, but the Tattle stays up. He still has an Invis and a Freeze with Queen ability 
and this my friends is looking good and in the creative math series if you're wondering was if they both get a perfect perfect war well there is judge voting which can influence the outcome which will influence the outcome and if that the war is completely tied after judge voting then we'll go to a friendly challenge battle well they treat it like legends league where they have to go in right away they can't scout they can't plan and he's coming in with the swag g g it's a three stars but the overgrowth stop in a log launcher well now you know i'm sure that may get fixed but it couldn't push through gg Simon with the three star and stars is back up stars has got himself nine healers ten hogs and we don't have the fireball. We'll see it eventually. I guess the pros have to figure out how to use it. As the town hall is off to the far left side with 16 sneaky goblins, four skelly spells. Two. And he's going to go with that skelly donut to help remove the scatter shots. The clan castle right in the core. In the middle of the space, taking them down. The next and last invis required to take this all down. Does he have to drop one more? No, he doesn't. He has one extra. And he can use that one extra invis onto his sneaky goblins for the town hall. And there's the wall break. Queen's going to slowly make her way through. But remember, this is it's not only difficult to do these types of attacks that are non-meta attacks. But also, you got to remember four attacks when you play solo. And that's what Stars is doing. Playing solo, remembering all four plans. Because they're all probably very intricate and detailed of what you exactly have to do. As Stars is pushing this queen to that right side towards the multi and the defensive king. As the Sneakies can eventually go for this town hall. It's not yet activated, but the healers are unfortunately getting hit by that multi-target inferno and losing quite a bit of health. Flame Flinger is working on the multi, and the healers are barely alive. One red air bomb. They are gone. The multi finishes them off, unfortunately, because it was upgraded. Oh, he's got extra. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's got extra healers. I'm, I'm not even processing that he has extra healers. Okay, that works. He could just redeploy healers out of the queen. That's one way to deal with it. As the a bunch of skellies are now running off to the Flame Flinger, but the Fire Spirits are going to kill the skellies but the ground expo is going to remove the flame flinger as the town hall goes down to sneaky goblins queen continues her way through does have her ability pops it now to go through a wall as the king burned his ability took out the defensive queen as we got the warden and hog coming in with the royal champion popping that warden ability continuing his way through need to make his way into the core towards that eagle artillery and we have that queen going through this wall, eventually trying to get to that poison spell. More hogs trickling in from the left side as a lot of the hogs have been removed and killed as the royal champion now is responsible for moving through with a haste and a hogs from a hog rider puppet as the RC will have the burn ability here soon. And the monolith has locked down to something. I think it was the diggy here as the RC goes invisible and we'll be able to pop this ability of the RC take it down the monolith and stars has got a three star and i think this ward literally might just come down to the judge voting if it's a perfect perfect war at town hall 16 gg stars with another triple just have to get through this gold storage and he gets it done stars two for two to start this match well done and philip is up to answer with rocket loons, 10 lightning spells, and a handful of E dragons. Take a look at the warden. It's the rage gem. We got a lightning spell. Oh, is it a giant? No, okay. I'm looking all over. He's, he's dropping lightnings all over the place here. This multi target inferno stays up, but he completely gutted the core of this base. As rocket loons going straight in to help remove the right side, including getting the air defenses. So an E-Dragon can work through, and this Grand Warden is one tile to this Dark Elixir storage so that it can skip and chain through to help try to take it down. But it's unfortunately chaining into the Defensive King, which he probably wasn't planning for, but it's okay. It chains through the Wizard Tower and takes that Grand Warden Altar down. As we have a Flame Flinger now coming into the bottom side, he did kill off the enemy Queen. Looks like it might have been with the Ice Golems and Headhunters. As these E-Dragons are still moving in through this defensive king. Air Skellies do pop. 
Needs to take that multi-target Inferno down as he continues with a wall break into the scatter. We do have a multi-archer tower. The wall break, unfortunately, was not able to open that wall. And he's out of wall breakers. The sea dragon is moving into this multi. Doesn't have much health, but it does remove it there. As the king ability goes off, runs through. He's got another e dragon to the left side. He's trying to... Oh, I think he tried to chain into the town hall. But it did not chain into there. He now moves into the town hall. It goes invisible. He's got one freeze left. He's got a royal champion and the warden. are going to work together here. Got the regular abilities on that royal champ. Ice golems, unfortunately, do come out of the CC, which they are go going to run to that enemy royal, or his royal champion. And the king comes back to life. He can pop this warden ability to help protect the royal champ, and he does now. The town hall has been removed. Queen's healers popped from the healer puppet. As he's looking to remove the invisibility spell, he's looking to remove the monolith here. And the RC got frozen, so he's going to freeze up the monolith. He did get through these ice golems. And with that flame flinger opening up, we've got a three star here from Philip. Could burn this RC ability. Oh boy. This is a four versus four war, and it's three stars answering. <laughs> stars with two triples. A triple apiece from Simon and Philip. My friends. It's going to come down to the very end, to the final attacks. GG to you, Philip. These pros make it tell. 60 look so easy. Well done, Philip. And Stars is back in. Can he go three for three with eight Pekkas? Put the Rage Gym on that Warden. Take a look here across the board. He's got the Haste and Hog Puppets. Okay, with seven Lightning. And starting off with a Warden and the Healers on him there on the far right side. Is he's going to move his way in towards this ground expo. And we've got a Barbarian off to the right to the army camp. Flame Flinger is down. And we've got the Owl helping this Warden out. A Hog going in to test for Teslas in this area. As this Warden is taking his time. The Raged Up Owl is actually doing some nice work here. Chaining through. As the Flame Flinger will continue its way towards the multi-target Inferno as the Queen is pulling that Warden down to the bottom side. Going to get through this defensive Royal Champion here with that Frozen Arrow slowing that enemy RC down. As he's using Sneaky Goblins to help push this Queen into the Town Hall compartment here with that Warden. And with that Flame Flinger, he could probably, he can remove all this value right here. And that's some fantastic value for the Flame Flinger just out of range of that Mortar there. As he continues with that Warden ability, protecting the Queen ability. So he keeps that intact as he's trying to get through this Town Hall. As it goes down now, he rages up this Queen so the healers can try to move to her. But unfortunately, the healers want to go to the Warden and not the Queen here. As the Ground Expo and this Multi-Archer Tower are doing work. As there's Lightning Spells on the backside, taking out the Multi, taking out the Ricochet Cannon. Sending Pekka's down to the bottom side as the King ability has come to the left. The Flame Flinger is continuing through. And the Royal Champion is moving to the left while the King and Pekka's are tanking. And the Warden is taking some damage from the Scatter Shot as more Pekka's are sprinkled around this base one at a time. As the Tesla Farm has popped, the RC ability with these Hogs coming out, moving through the Tesla Farm. Pekka's and Pekka's and more Pekka's. And as he can make his way to the core of the base with the Royal Champ. He's got two extra packs to use. To use to the top side here, Flame Flinger is not even going to need to open up with those troops. And these Pekkas are smashing through this base. Well done to you, Stars. Another triple. Three for three so far here. Well done. Oh my, oh my. He's got 44 seconds. Don't worry, time is not going to be a tiebreaker in the Creative Master Series as Stars delivers. Simon is up to answer with... Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. With 11 lightning spells. That's a lot. That's a lot of barbarians, archers, and goblins. And 10 wall breakers. I don't think I've seen this triple... I don't think I've seen this triple here. <laughs> okay, here comes the lightning spells. Taking out some Infernos, taking out a defensive rage. He took out this kind of right side here. <laughs> if he pulls this off, this is crazy. 
indeed absolutely as his warden's taking his time with the unicorn he's doing a warden walk without healers he's got one jump he's gonna get through this king the flame flingers fire spirits are actually slowing this king down a bit da doing well no he's not slow he's just doing some damage there's the barbarians providing the distraction to help take this king down very easily through the warden's rage gem as he's got a healer puppet on that queen and we've got goblins and goblins coming through to help with some funneling as the queen is down barbarian <laughs> oh, this is crazy 300 barch gobs what as the king is going from the top side up at 12 gonna move his way in towards the town hall that ground expo does lock onto the flame flinger here the town hall is not yet activated as we've got yetis coming out of here the warden is going to the yetis and not the queen the warden is not going to the right side oh that's gonna hurt there's the jump he definitely wanted to oh no those yetis causing an issue as we got rocket looms coming out with super minions popping that king but he decides to now send in the raw champ with that warden pops ability here the king's ability goes off unfortunately the queen does burn ability she has healers to try to get through the cc and we have archers through the tesla farm as he's continuing his way in with that queen taking out the scatter barbarians wall breakers coming in to try to take out the defensive queen the rsc is gonna have to burn her ability skips across here does have the spear of fox but unfortunately lost a lot of those troops and the enemy queen can't get through that as he wanted the warden to stay with his king and queen to get through that and the royal champ dies off oh rip if the warden didn't walk if he didn't walk this would have tripled this definitely with that warden ability protecting the king and queen would have tripled oh but unfortunately the warden said hey yetis i want to go follow you and it's an 88 percent two star and stars is in looking to go four for four king and he do it with the same abilities it looks like yep it looks like stars has not switched up these abilities as we've got barbarians down to the bottom side testing for a tesla dropping an archer waiting for the mortar to shoot dropping another barbarian so the mortar stays distracted and using these one troop capacity troops here to provide the distraction so the flame flinger can move in even though the mortar i think is doing just wasn't doing but no i don't think it hit it it was just the losing health over time that took the health down for the flame flinger as he's getting through the defensive king here okay the king's pulling these headhunters a little bit but now working through the king with these headhunters taking some damage from the multi-mortar and the headhunter does not yes he does actually take that defensive king down as we got the balloons moving into the multi-mortar we've got the king to the top side to remove the test so we've got goblin going through with the queen to the top as well as Teslas have all popped we have ground skeletons popping up there as well as the flame flame can move through this multi to the bottom as the king can try to path his way into the town hall here with a couple of balloons to remove this tesla the air expo is doing quite a bit of damage so the king's gonna get slowed up through these skellies oh no the king is walking and not going into the town hall like he hoped he definitely wanted this king to go in and remove the town hall here but now the oh the queen comes back through okay she's gonna be able to go for the town hall at this point he does find a tornado trap king comes back to life with the phoenix queen should be able to secure the town hall but it's okay he still has 101 goblins you know maybe those are gonna be useful in the attack who knows i guess we'll find out as the queen is continuing burns her ability to get through this town hall slowly but surely we have two expos here hitting that queen ground skeletons popping multi arch tower has locked on with all three shots focus on this queen as a golem is coming in from the right side with that royal champion as well and we got bats already coming in but the eagle artillery locks onto the bats so he has to go with the freeze the eagle shot does get down and hits out and removes a ton of bats there as he sends in hogs with the royal champion and that warden as a lot of headhunters and witches coming out of this clan castle is going to cause a bit of a distraction he doesn't have a poison spell for him so that's going to be a very annoying as the bats though are providing the distraction on the monolith the hogs can't get through it we have headhunters get moving through now going to the enemy royal champions ricochet cannon now is skipping through he's freezing that up now look at this royal champion completely getting overwhelmed but he's got a lot of goblins to overwhelm this base as well but the problem is they're not going to go for any defenses until the clan castle goes down 
and stars is falling short here at 89 percent and this is gonna be a match here 89 percent for stars and the one fail over here was an 88 that's a one building differential so philip is looking to triple philip is in and philip good luck and by the way stars was the most predicted out of 1780 brackets that were filled out stars was selected as the most out of those brackets to win it all so if stars gets upset round one like this a lot of brackets are busted but i mean then you can go for last place and win a prize as well so good luck as we got super minions eight of them here for philip as that warden is looking to move his way through towards that scatter shot we have the defensive queen there as well he's gonna slowly push through this defensive queen with a headhunter under rage he's gonna go with a freeze because he doesn't want to have the warden ability be activated too early as he's taking this scatter shot down slowly but surely with seven actually no count eight bats and two overgrowths to use as a baby dragon is going to be used up to the top side. And here comes the bat wave. The warden ability. Warden ability. Warden ability for the bats. Here we go. Here we go. Warden. Wait. Wait for it. Wait. And he's still waiting. He's being patient. Warden, step to the bats. He's still waiting. And the warden ability is used. Look at the bats go. And because he's using the rage gem of this warden to just coast your way around the base. He has another way. What? He's going to overgrowth again. He's going to keep that all. What in the? Oh, look at these bats. They're just rolling around this base here for Philip. What? He still has the Royal Champion. My goodness. He can still make his way to the core. That's double multi target Infernos. What a bat. Now they're going to make their way to the town hall. The overgrowths on the same set of defenses. <laughs> what is this? The super minions now can go into the core. What a plan. He still has his world champion super minions. Go over this multi-target inferno. You got to send in that world champion. Seven super minions left. What a plan with the bats to coast their way around with overgrowth. He's trying to swag it. He's trying to swag it because judge voting can vote for three bonus stars. But they can only vote five times for three bonus stars in the competition. And look at this man. He's swagging a world champ. He's swagging balloons. He's swagging a baby dragon. And Philip coming in here to get a three star to not only tie this war up on stars and have it come down to a judge vote in the end gg to philip what a plan with the two overgrowths and the eight bat spells my goodness let's go to take a look at the score overall here we have 11 to 11 with a 77.6 to a 77.8 so now coming down to the judge vote over on stars's side on the left here you guys can see it right let's input the scores fatal is giving a score for stars of 1.5 leo is giving 1.5 and eve maxi is giving two oh does it say two bonus stars so 12.67 is for stars on the left side here are fatal putting in two bonus stars oh that's more oh leo putting in two bonus stars oh and the maxi putting in three bonus stars here which means Simon and Philip have just won this war based off the judge voting 13.33 to a 12.67.